So you probably know that Vim uses HJKL keys for moving around. But where did that actually come from? So it turns out it traces its roots to the 70s when v VI was invented by Bill Joy. He wrote VI on, on a terminal, which is basically a keyboard and a monitor connected to a, a remote computer. In that case, it was a mini computer. The keyboard layout on this terminal was quite different than what we are accustomed to today. So we didn't have actually dedicated arrow keys, but rather the arrow keys were drawn on the HJKL keys. So that explains why he chose those for moving around. And this just stuck since then, including uh, Vim, which is a derivative of VI. If you go ahead to a modern Vim and you press Q, capital Q, you enter EX mode. EX was actually the real name of the editor that Bill Joy developed. And VI, which we all know, is actually a command in EX. So EX worked like this. You can just, for example, go to line two. You can uh, use L to print. And you can use A to add more contents. For example, hi YouTube. And finish off with a dot. And finally, the command that we all know is VI, which is short for visual. We can just say VI, that's enough. And this will bring you to visual mode. And that's why it's called VI. Don't forget to subscribe for more Vim videos. Thanks for watching.